Over the last couple of weeks, I've been taking a look at different AI tools that speeds up the process of building websites, maintaining websites, and all those kinds of good things. Today, we're going to take a look at another tool called AI Copilot. Now, this allows you to use ChatGPT directly inside your WordPress website itself and create content. We've got various different options to create content in various different ways, but also we can edit that content and do various other things. They also have an AI chatbot in beta, which we will take a quick look at. So in this video, which is sponsored, I want to show you the basics of getting you up and running. But as always, in any sponsored content on this channel, no opinions are going to be expressed. I'm simply going to demonstrate how AI Copilot works, and then you can make a more informed decision for yourself. Okay, so let's go and take a look at how you get started using this. So once you install AI Copilot, you're going to have to do a couple of things to get started. The first thing is you're going to need to put the API key in for ChatGPT. This is going to give you access to ChatGPT and all the AI functions that come with it. To do that, you simply hop over into the API key section, pop in your API key, and you can do the same for Pexels as well if you want to use that to use that for images as part of your post creation process. Once that's completed, we're going to hop over into the module section, and this is where you can enable or disable the different functions that AI Copilot has. We'll leave everything enabled except for the chatbot for now. We'll come back to that a little bit later. We'll also take a look later at the actions and the content and what they do inside the editor itself. So let's quickly set the scene for what this video is going to be about. I've created a website for a fictitious landscape gardening company. This is predominantly built by AI, AI images, and so on. So it's in keeping with what we're talking about today. Part of what they want to do in this fictitious website is have articles and tips on how to get the most out of your garden. So things like when to mow the lawn, when to look after your lawn, different flowers and things that are good for various different situations. To do that, we've got a tips and articles section. And here's a perfect example of an article that I've used ChatGPT to create. As you can see, it's a nice looking article. It's informative. It has various different bits of information inside there. But we want to create more. And we don't want to necessarily have to go to ChatGPT to create it and copy all that over and do all of the formatting and so on. AI Copilot makes that process much easier. So let's take a look at how we can use it. We're going to come into our post section and we're going to add a new post. Now you'll notice we've got create multiple posts here and you can do that, but I just want to show you how you can use it to get a feel for how we can create a post. So let's add a new post in. And now you'll see we have two different places we can access the AI Copilot. We've got the top left hand corner and also underneath the post section on the right hand side. Let's open up the AI panel from the right hand side. And this is going to break things down to a three-step wizard. We've got the ability to set up what we wanted to create and configure and tweak that. And then we've got some other steps which we'll go through. So let's start off with what the topic is all about. So this first article is going to be a guide to lawn care and maintenance in spring in the UK. So we're telling exactly what we want and where we're based. Then we can choose the number of sections, the number of paragraphs per section, the number of words, and so on. We'll leave those at their default, but you can tweak them should you want to. Then we can set the site language. So if you want to have something different to maybe what your site is set up as, you could do that by choosing it from here. In this example, we're going to say English UK. Then you can choose the style. Informative in this example is great, but if you want it to be creative, persuasive, and so on, you have those options. We leave informative, and then you've got your tone of voice that you want. Again, you've got a bunch of different options inside you. For this example, we're going to leave this set to be neutral because we want to kind of be quite relaxed. Next up, we're going to go over and we can set a new template if we want to. So we can create templates from here, or we can pull in one of the previously created templates. We'll set new post, and we'll leave everything else as it is. Let's go over and click on the next arrow. And this is now going to preview what the prompts are going to be. So this will show you what prompt is going to be used for each of the different parts of the content we're going to create. So the title, the prompt for seven sections, the content, the excerpt, the tags are going to be used, and so on. So all of that is set up via the templates that we can take a look at creating a little later. Once we're happy with that, we'll click on the third one, which is our response. And now if we want to, we can ask it to create of these one at a time. But you can also use the AI process button underneath and simply click that to do all of these at the same time. Let's do that. That's now going to go and create a title, create the sections, set the formatting for those in this example, H2. Then it's going to write the content. And again, it's going to put the HTML tags in there so we don't have to deal with any of that. You can tweak if you want to, obviously. It'll create an excerpt, add tags in, all based upon the prompt and the template that we have for that prompt. And there we go. After a few moments, all those things are filled out for us. It's also pulled in some images that it thinks are going to be useful. You can see in this example, it gives us two different options. So this one looks pretty good. And we'll say we're happy with that. So all we need to do now is click on Write, and that will then put this content into our post. 
and you can see there is our post all created. If we come to the post section on the top right hand side, we can set our featured image. We'll choose this one. Set our featured image. Then after a few moments, there's our content added to our page, along with the image that we've pulled in from Pexels. It also gives the credit underneath as well, so you don't need to do that. Obviously, if you don't want to use this, you can remove it, not a problem at all. But then you see underneath, there's our article. All the formatting has been done for us, the headings that are pulled in, all that information has been created. So if we want to easily adjust this, we can come in, read through it, make any tweaks that we may want to do, open up, Make shorter paragraphs if we want to, whereas we could control this inside the actual prompt itself. So you've got options there as well. And if you want to, we can now get it to do various other things. This is the sort of creation process. But let's say we wanted to do something else. We want to tweak the content. Well, what we can do is we can highlight, for example, this content. And you see we've got the AI panel in the top left-hand corner. And you also notice we've got this little AI symbol for our actions. Let's click on the actions. And this now gives us a range of other options on how we can tweak this content. So we can correct the text if there's any typos or grammar issues. We can enhance the text, elaborate upon it. Then it'll go ahead and it'll take a look at that content and it'll elaborate upon that content for us. So it'll give us more information about what we've selected. So you can tweak the article. You're not kind of stuck with exactly where it generates and you have to manually change it. You can easily use these options. Okay, so we've seen how you create this content. Let's just publish this and take a look on the front end to see what it looks like. There we go. There's our finished article. Everything is formatted correctly for us. Let's come back into our welcome section now, and let's take a look at these actions and content, because this is where you can customize what you can do inside AI Copilot. So let's go to the content first of all. You can see inside here, we've got what we've just tried, the new post, new tutorial, and so on. So these are ones in which we can use to create our own. So let's just say we wanted to take one of these and create something completely new. We can click on template. And from here, you can now go through and you can customize this template. You can include the prompts you want to use. So there's our instructions, our prompt title, our prompt section, content, excerpts, and so on. Any variables you want to use. So again, you see there's our language, our style, our neutral, the model. So currently, ChatGPT 4.0 is the latest supported, but as new ones roll out, we should get access to those inside here. So there's various different options, and if you want to work with the images for AI generation, you can do that, and you can set whether you want to use DALI. Hopefully, they will include the new image generation options inside ChatGPT soon as well, because they give much, much better results. But right now, we've got both Pexels, so we can pull in stock images using the API, totally free API from Pexels, or you can use DALI. Again, we've also got the option there for the number of quantity you want, the size, and so on. So there's a range of different options that you can use inside your create your own template. And then once you create that template, that becomes available to you when you create new content. The same holds true for the actions. So as we saw, we had the option for enhanced text. And as you can see, we've got correct, enhance, elaborate, summarize, and so on. Again, we can create new ones inside you. We can clone an existing one. So for example, we may say, clone the summarized text, then we can come down and we can edit that one. So we can use that as a starting point that we can come in and we can customize and tweak the prompts and the variables and everything else that's being used inside you. So you're not stuck with what you have to start off with. You can easily use those to get a feel for how AI Copilot works, and then you can create your own to get incredibly specific about the different kinds of prompts that you want to use, the different things you want to use to create or edit, mod modify the actual content you do create. So that's pretty cool. It gives us a lot of flexibility there not to be stuck with just one set of options. Now, before we wrap things up, let's take a very quick look at the chat bot. Let's enable this option and save. And we now have a new entry. Please do bear in mind, this is a beta, so be warned. I'm going to come into the chatbot section, and inside here, we can now customize various aspects of the chatbot. We can change the text for the button itself. We can specify where we want this to place. Bottom right is perfectly fine. You can come into your box, and you can customize the header, the footer. So you can set this to whatever you want. So you may want to change this to, so we can download your free brochure. You kind of get the idea. You can set things up as a link. So we can say we want to highlight that, set it as a link, get the idea. We're just using the standard editing options. Come to the theme, so you can choose different themes. You can customize this so it's in keeping with exactly what your site is about. So let's say, for example, you may want to be green. There we go. So we got green there. Your visibility, we can set up where we want to include or exclude this. You may want to exclude it from certain parts of your site, like the checkout page, for example, if you have selling products and things. Then you've got your assistance, so you can see this is using the ID. We've got the knowledge 
And if we edit this, we can now customize what this model is all about. So again, it's still using ChatGPT. But as you can see, I've tweaked this a little bit to say you're a sales assistant for a UK based landscape gardening company. They offer all forms of landscape gardening, blah, 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 blah. So you can customize this. You can select where you want to store the information, the visibility and all those kinds of good things are inside here as well. Let's cancel out of that. Your storages, you can choose where you want to store the actual content. And then finally, you've got your files for where you want to set up your knowledge base and so on. So this is a little bit more in depth of what I want to cover. I just want to briefly show you how you can get this up and running. So now we've got that set up. If we come back over to our site, you see we now have, hi, how can I help you? Open this up. We now have our AI co-pilot. So what do we want to do? You want to ask it something. So we can click to set the assistant and we'll just say, what services do you offer? So bear in mind, I've only given it a basic overview of what we do. You can train this to get a lot more informative. So if you've got information about all the services and things like that, you can use that to train the AI assistant and get a lot more useful information. So let's just say we'll hit the enter or return. So what services do you offer? And after a moment, you can see it now gives us a bunch of different options. So you can see, tells us what we do. General garden maintenance, grass cutting, tree removal, garden design, all the different options we told it that we actually offer. So if someone's asking these kind of questions, you can see we can have an AI chatbot up, set up and connected up to exactly what we offer. So then you can expand the knowledge that this has by simply adding more information in and training it up over a period of time. So you can start off with everything you know, and then as you ask questions, maybe in person via email contacts, phone calls and so on, you can add those questions in to make it incredibly comprehensive and cut down on the amount of time that you have to spend actually answering the questions there. So that's the basics of how you can get up and running with AI Copilot and some of the options you have available. I'd recommend taking a look at the Quad Layers website. I'll link that in the description down below. It has all the information on there alongside the pricing for the annual and for a lifetime deal. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.